When I walked into Mark's building and saw these three Corvettes, I was a little starstruck. Very few cars have it all. And when I say all, I mean are completely original. The fact that these cars are in such great time capsule condition is almost unheard of. I'm Mark Davis, and I love Corvettes. When I was five years old, I was riding down the road in the back seat of my mom's car, and I spotted my first Corvette. And I've been sick about them ever since. Over the course of my lifetime, I think I've owned probably over 150 Corvettes. When I was a youngster, he bought his first Corvette, and he has not backed off his interest and his love and his knowledge and his passion of Corvettes. And it's paid off for him over the years as he is well known as collecting the finest Corvettes in the world. Mark Davis is one of those collectors that we love because he does it not for the money, but for the passion and for the emotional connection that he has with his vehicles. I just love the, the entire car from bumper to bumper, as they say. I've always loved how they came from the factory. Mark Davis is drawn to the cars that have low mileage, have not been driven a lot, and have really maintained their originality, their factory originality. I'm very meticulous. I've always been that way. Um, I think it came from my parents. I grew up poor, so when I did get something, I, I wanted to preserve it. Three Ps, preservation, provenance, paperwork. If you have those three areas covered, there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna be able to authenticate the value of an original Corvette. And that's what Mark Davis does. The preservation speaks for itself. Then you have the provenance, the history, who owned these cars, and then you have the paperwork. These cars have all documentation, including window stickers, owner's manuals, brochures, et cetera, et cetera. We have three examples from three different generations here in the Mark Davis collection that are considered the best unrestored, preserved cars from those particular generations, one, two, and three. The 1962 is probably the ultimate color combination. Red, red, Roman red with red interior. It's got a very desirable engine, 327, 340 horse with a four-speed transmission manual. It's a hard top only car. Everything's original except the battery. You can go down the whole laundry list of the things about the 62 car that make it special. But I think one has to know the story about the original owner and his son. It was bought by a gentleman in uh, Walla Walla, Washington uh, back in 1962. He ultimately was saving it for his only son. The original owner was about ready to give the car to him. His only son was working at his home one day and was tragically killed at age 33. So it, it devastated him. And at the, after that point, he couldn't handle it anymore and chose to sell the car to his doctor, actually, until I purchased it from him. You know, we can talk all day about what engine, what transmission, a paint coat, things like that. But when you start digging a little bit deeper, you really begin to appreciate them so much more. The 1962 Corvette has won every award in the National Corvette Restore Society it can win. It's won Bloomington Survivor Gold and Benchmark. It's a very highly awarded special car. And then we jump up from there to the very popular first Stingray, the C2. That was built in 1963 through 1967. It's a 390 horse L36 427, but it is a four-speed car in that highly desirable silver color with the black Stinger. The 67 Corvette was actually purchased as a demo for Hauser Chevrolet in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, Mr. Hauser purchased it knowing that they were gonna come out with the new third generation Corvette, but mostly kept it in his showroom to promote the dealership. It was bought new by a gentleman in Pennsylvania who was a mail carrier actually, and he kept it in a climate controlled garage and meticulously cared for it until 2005. It was purchased by a gentleman who was an NCRS judge, and then I purchased it from him later on. The only thing that's been replaced is one radiator hose and the tires and battery. Corvettes are special in the fact that a lot of the parts were dated. 
glass was dated, every window was dated, every, practically every part on the car. Original Corvettes also have all kinds of markings. There are chalk marks on the frame. There's still masking tape that hold the shims down where the body was bolted to the frame. There are wax crayon marks on the engine block. So all that is there on these cars. It's the only 1967 Corvette in existence to have ever been awarded the All-Time Preservation Award by the Historical Vehicle Association of America. Finishing up with the collection with what's referred to as a C3. Now this is the longest run of Corvettes, ran all the way from 1968 to 1982. That's 15 years of production. But a lot of enthusiasts consider the 1969 to be a must have year. It has only 11,000 miles, optioned with a 350, 350 engine with air conditioning, which is somewhat rare, with a four speed manual transmission, T top coupe with a 370 to 1 gear ratio in the rear. It was purchased through Fensel Pierce Chevrolet in Chicago, Illinois by a wealthy gentleman that lived there. He had a business in Florida and had a winter home there. According to the story, either he or the dealership forgot to check off power steering. He realized it was a little difficult to handle around the streets of where his home was in Florida. And the black interior was fairly warm as, as well. So he turned around and ordered a 1970 Corvette with a 454 automatic with air conditioning and power steering and he made sure that box was checked. However, he loved the looks and still loved his silver 69, so he elected to tuck it away in a climate controlled warehouse that he owned and pamper and baby it for the rest of his life. It's won every award a Corvette can be awarded from the National Corvette Restore Society. It's won every award at Bloomington Gold, including Survivor Golden Benchmark. It's won all the awards at Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago. It has become, what you might say, the holy grail of 69 small block Corvettes. These cars are gonna be exposed literally to the world market. And for those collectors, whether they're specifically Corvettes or collect cars in general, the interest in these cars are gonna be very high. We're gonna see some very impressive prices. I was emotional when I sold some of the previous cars at Meekum. I'm concerned that I may be a little more emotional this time. Why now? Why are you selling them? That is the zillion dollar question everybody asks. My passion is finding them, proving them, documenting them, and getting those awards. And these cars have won practically every award they can win in not only the Corvette world, but in other worlds, Concours d'Elegance, et cetera. So I have several other cars on deck that I want to go ahead and proceed with that same process. So I feel that it's time to share these very, very special three cars with, with the world and, and, and maybe a new owner. <laughs>